Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to model a new component from different sources of geometry. For example, sometimes you may want to import many different CAD files and save them as one component. To give you a quick example, I have two geometry files. Let me find them here. I have an SAT file and an OBJ file. Now remember, whenever you import a geometry file, it is contained in a new component. So if I take this positioner file here and drag it and drop it in the 3D world, this imports the file and now it's contained in its own component. Let's now go back to that other file, the part file. I can drag that into the 3D world. And notice its geometry was imported, but it's contained in a separate component. So I want to combine the geometry and save these as just one component. You could, of course, attach one of these components to each other, but you'll still be saving them as two components. And if you were to save this layout, you know, it's a big no-no, you would still have two components. So what I will do, I will take this component here, and I will use a shortcut by holding on the Shift key, and I'll select this edge, and I will snap the component to the top face of this fixture. I'll then use the PMP command and reposition the component there. I now want to move this geometry into this other component. So with the part component selected, I'll go to the modeling tab, and in the component graph panel, if I expand the node feature tree, notice I just have one geometry feature here, so I will select it. I will now right click and copy it. I will now select a feature in the other component, in this case the positioner, and now I can go to the component graph panel select the root feature in the node feature tree, right click, and now click paste. And notice it moved that geometry under that new root. So I moved the geometry of this part into another component, but the location is not correct. So with the geometry selected, I can go to the tools group, use the snap command, and I'm going to be using a snap type of origin, and I will snap to the origin of that part file. So let me Move it there, and there we go. Now we cannot see the geometry, so we need to delete the old component. So I will select the part, but it may be hard to pick it. So with the geometry that we moved still selected, I can go to the Feature Properties panel and clear the visible checkbox. I can now select that geometry of the old component, go to the Component Graph panel, select the root node, and you can go here to the clipboard and click delete to delete the entire component. But hey, what happened to the geometry? It's still there, but it's invisible right now. So select the feature in the original component. I'll then go back to the component graph panel, select the feature that I made invisible, and then go to the feature property panel and select the invisible checkbox. And there you go. So I imported two different CAD files and I've now combined the geometry into one component. So when I go to the component group here and click Save, I'm now saving this as one component, not two separate components. Now this may be very helpful for you if you start to model robots because in most cases you use a template component from an e-catalog and you're copying and pasting the geometry in your source file to that template and then deleting the old component. But okay, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.